Hi everyone, welcome to the Chem 345 lab video series. My name is Parvana and today we will be talking about melting point determination. Melting point determination is a technique used to help identify a compound as well as determine its relative level of purity. We will be using this technique to help characterize all of our solid products throughout the semester. A compound's melting range is the temperature range where the compound transitions from solid phase to liquid phase. The temperature at which melting occurs can depend on the structure of compound, exemplifies the relationship between the structure and chemical properties. This is why different compounds have different melting points. Note that unlike the boiling point, melting point is unaffected by environmental pressure changes. A compound's melting point is drastically affected by the impurities due to variances in the intermolecular forces between different compounds. You can see here the difference between the length of line represent the range of intermolecular forces between desired compound and impurities. Impure compounds show broad melting ranges of up to 6 to 7 degrees Celsius. A pure compound has very similar intermolecular forces represented by these lines. So the energy required to break them is more specific. Pure compounds show narrow melting range with ranges of one to three degree Celsius. Melting point is performed by adding a tiny amount of solid compound into a small capillary tube and then slowly heating the compound until it melts. In our lab, we use a specially designed digital melting point apparatus that heats the compound slowly and accurately. The instrument has a magnified viewing window that we can observe the compound as it changes. You can change the temperature settings using the operator panel. For many labs, you will be asked to look up the melting point of your non-compound in a textbook or trustworthy online resource, and then test the melting range of your experimentally derived compound. You will compare these numbers to obtain a sense of purity. For example, the melting point of your compound in the literature it's around 130 to 132 degrees of Celsius. But when you measure the melting point of your compound, it changes from 130 to 138 degrees Celsius. It means your compounds include impurities. The most common problem for melting point is simply missing the beginning or ending of the melting point range. Be attentive while using the instrument and you can obtain very accurate data. Thanks for watching.